Hey everyone, in the last few weeks, my Country Spotlight video featuring the Czech Republic kind of blew up. As of me recording this on December 1st, it has over 60,000 views. The response to the video has been overwhelmingly positive, with many people getting a good laugh out of my terrible pronunciations. On my Discord server, the video's rapidly increasing view count became a bit of a meme, and one of my mods came up with this name for me. Pretty good, right? I also received tons of comments on the video with tips for scoring better in Czechia on GeoGuessr, really detailed pronunciation guides, and so much more. I can't just let all this valuable info go to waste, so I'm gonna play the Czech Republic map again today and put all these tips to the test. So here we go, let's get started. Okay, I am armed and ready to go with new knowledge from the kind people of the Czech Republic, so let's just jump into this challenge. Uh, we're gonna be playing on Simi's map. Simi is one of the most well-known Czech GeoGuessr players out there, uh, so he has a fantastic map of the country. Uh, my personal best score, I don't remember getting this, <laughs> but uh, it's apparently just over 23,000 points in under 10 minutes, which I'm actually pretty happy with. Uh, so we're going to sort of do the same thing as we did in my video from back in April. Uh, I'm going to set a 3 minute timer, and we're going to do moving around. So moving is allowed, but just do not Google anything if you choose to play along. Uh, no external help of any kind is allowed. Uh, the only thing I have with me is my pronunciation guide, which a lovely user left for me, so I'm going to be using that to try and pronounce things a little bit better. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan. Here we go. Let's jump into this and see how well I will do this time around. Almost eight months later. Okay, first round here. We have got a sign that, oh god, I'm not going to try and say that one. I'm going to test my pronunciation skills on simpler words first. Um, but we do have a town name here, which is excellent. So the town we started in, uh, I can try and work with this. Stavnyashitsa, I think. Stavnyashitsa. Something like that. Um, hopefully I'm remembering right. I, I could be butchering them even worse than I was before <laughs> with no pronunciation guide. Uh, but we will see. So I'm just gonna follow this road around. It is not letting me go forward, but now we are moving. Uh, past some solar panels there, cool. And here's another town. Uh, okay. Strajovica, maybe? <laughs> Something like that. Alright. Nice coverage, though. We're in Gen 4, which is really nice. Love to see that. Uh, Gen 4 is the newest camera coverage that Google uses, if you're not familiar with that terminology. Uh, we got some... Stuff being pointed out. Ah, excellent. So I have heard of this town. Brno, however you properly say that. I'm not actually too sure on that one. But anyway, we're between that and uh, Kiev. So I don't know where that is. Here it is. So we're going to be somewhere in here. Now let's see if we don't have a road number up here. Uh, we could, but you never know. Not really, but we do have these towns that we can just sort of look for. Um... I mean, they, we must be between these two towns. It's gotta be. So, can I find them? Here it is. Excellent. So that was this one. That's four south. Okay. So... Wait, is this the other one? Okay, yeah. This is the town we started in. Okay, back to the start. We got less than a minute to go here. Uh, but we're going to try our best. We are crossing over a little river. I think one of the viewers on the original video mentioned that all of the rivers and streams are named uh, on signs, which is actually quite cool. I did not know that, uh, but it should be this one, I think. The name actually doesn't really line up, but uh, I'm going to assume we're here anyway. It definitely looks like it. Uh, so yeah, if this is our starting location, we are going to be right about there. Oh no! <laughs> you are kidding me. I messed up the pinpointing job. I was way too far over. Uh, I didn't really try my best actually there, but hey, at least we found the right area. Uh, I will take 49.99 here in the town of Stavnyashitsa, or however you properly say that. <laughs> Round number two. Seems like we're on a larger road. Let's head... Uh, we're gonna head this way, going the opposite direction that the Google car was driving in. Uh, generally, that helps you make it to larger places and signs sooner. Uh, so this is Borjitov, or however you properly say it. 
that is to our north on this road. And this is the 377. Awesome. So that's a good number to look for. Um, and there's another town sign here, which we can use to our advantage. Awesome. So let's find the 377. I believe the threes are generally in the middle here. Here are some. Yeah. So let's find 377 as well as looking for those towns. But the number is what I'm really looking for. And here it is. So uh, Cherna Hora is going to be uh, two to the east, or west actually, so we're more over here. Aha, there's Borzitov. Okay, so we started uh, down on this side, because we went north to start. Uh, so we've got, uh, what do we have to pinpoint here? Not too much, I mean there's this town heading south, so like that's this. Uh, kind of a tough pinpoint. We don't have any landmarks around us at the start to uh, figure out where exactly we are. I can try to click count. I mean, there's this little road. Does that show up? No, it does not at all. So, I wonder if that little house or farm will show up down here. I think it's... No, this is just the town here. So, no, that's going to be these buildings. So, that is not showing up on the map this little thing here. But, judging from where everything is, and the way the road is curved, I'm gonna say we're about here right now. Now I'm gonna try and click count. So let's click count going northwest. Five. That's ten clicks. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. 30. Does this show up? Uh, this looks like a bike path, which mm, doesn't really show up, does it? Okay. That's unfortunate. We might actually be further down. I don't know. Those are going to be these buildings here. That clump. So there's that. Took us probably about 50 to get there, so quickly estimating this way. I don't have time anymore. Um... I'd say we're definitely a little closer to the start of this town than these buildings there. So I'm going to move it to about here. Hopefully we're roughly there. We will see here. Oh, so close. It was a little further down, uh, but thankfully I moved it a little closer. At the end there, I will take the 4997 again. So we're not exactly pinpointing each one, but we are getting very close, which is awesome. Let's move on to round number three and keep the good times rolling. Okay, small road here, but that's fine. Uh, I think the Google car is going the opposite way, so we're going to head this way. And hopefully link up with a town or a different road or something. We'll see. Oh boy, will we get anything here? I don't know. This seems like a very small road. There is a house here. And might be a little town. That's good. Okay. So we've made it to a small village here. Now let's see if... Oh wow, winter coverage. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Um, that's very interesting. That is very interesting. So, this town is winter coverage. Uh, will we make it to a larger road? I don't know. Wow, coverage ends there. It's interesting because we have this car, which I did not know the Czech Republic had. Uh, the antenna with a little flag on it, I associate more with... Uh, Slovakia and Hungary and Romania, I think. So what if we crossed into Slovakia? I don't know if that's possible, but we could have. This is just very interesting. Now we're back to... Um, <laughs> we're back to summer coverage. It's winter in the town, though. So let's see if going this way leads us to anywhere. Okay, we have the town name, at least. Uh, so this is Portolesi. Uh, again, might be butchering that one. I'm less confident on the pronunciation, but we at least have the town name. So that's awesome. We just have a minute to go here. So it's not looking great in terms of figuring this out. We do have another town here. Kriva, Kriva Voda. <laughs> Something like that. The, the R sound, that R with the accent on it, is very 
difficult for me to say. For one thing, I can't roll my R's, so that makes it infinitely harder. And it's just a weird sound to begin with. Uh, but yeah, that town is also going to be pretty small, so don't think we're going to have much luck finding it, really. I just need a road number. Ah, here we go. My wishes have been answered. 312. We have 30 seconds to go. Can I find the 312? Uh, looks like lower numbers here. 311. Come on. We're so close. At least I hope we are. Hanu Shovitsa as well. Don't think we're going to find that. I just don't see 312 either, which is really annoying, but that's fine. We at least got relatively close as far as the country goes. We could have been way further out, so that's fine. So we did not cross into a different country. I did not know Czech Republic had that car, uh, which is interesting. Definitely good to know. Uh, so we got 32.99. Not the greatest score, but hey, at least it isn't zero points. Moving on to round four. We are in a town here again. Let's see if we can get road numbers. Or the name of the town. Or both. That's ideal here. So we're actually up on a hill here. Interesting. Oh, come on. We've got to get something, right? Okay, here's the name of the town at least. Uh, so let's read the not crossed out one. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> uh, Rozdro Jovica. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know about that one either. But hey, I tried. So, here's a mileage sign pointing us out to some towns that I haven't heard of. But it says Brno here, which makes me think we might be around it. Let's get to this road itself. Maybe it says the number along here. There's a chance. Don't know, though. Not looking so good. That sign also might be a red herring. So, we'll see if I'm in the right area here. I just wish we had a road number. Dang. How much time we got? About half the time left. I'm gonna head through this town, see if there's a road number leaving it. Otherwise, we'll just stick with whatever mileage sign we had and just kind of scan for those towns around this area. Do we have anything here? It's really not looking good, is it? No. Okay, back to the start. Let's head to that sign. And hopefully look for those towns and find them. It was just outside of the town, right? Let's hope I, hope I make it there. I think I've taken a wrong turn here. Yeah. Okay. So, down to the mileage sign. Here it is. Let's take a look and see if these towns are nearby. Really hope we're not getting misled here. There's a good chance we are. Ah, here it is. Okay, so that's a district of the city, it seems. A neighborhood, perhaps. Uh, so now we're looking for... Ah, uh, this is the town. That was it. Okay, great. So, back at the start, we started on this road, heading northwest. Uh, we make it to this road, which seems to also junction up with a larger road, which might be this one. So, we could have come from here. Oh, I need to go the other way as well. This road curves around... Ooh, okay. Not confident that we're going to pinpoint here, but again, we'll at least be in the town, so that's good. <laughs> ah, wrong side, so it was that road. Darn, one street over, but hey, I'll take it again. 4992 is a decent score, so I'm pretty happy with that one. Final round here, let's put my pronunciation to the test once again, and see how we can do. Uh, we're in actually a pretty large place, it seems, here. Any info about the city here? Doesn't seem like it. Um... But we're just going to explore the city here and see if we can figure out which one this is. Definitely a larger place than any of the other towns that we started in. So, how to go about solving this? Uh, this road seems larger, so that's good. 
here we go. A decent junction. Uh, okay, so here are these things. I don't know if these are big towns or not. They seem vaguely familiar, but I might be just thinking of something else. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to just click in a decent sized town for now, just to uh, click somewhere. So we've got two minutes left. Let's head out here. Alright, this is looking good. Yes, excellent. So a fantastic sign. We are in the 200s and a 101. So twos are... Ah, uh, where'd they go? They're down here, right? No, those are the ones. Are the twos up here? Yes, they are. So we're looking for 240. Uh, we're not too far from Prague. At least it's being pointed out to us. So here's 240. And there's 101. Okay, so we are probably in this town. Krarupi Navrtavu. Or something like that. <laughs> uh, and that means it's on the River Vltava. Or however that's properly pronounced. Uh, that's what Nod Blank means. Many, many people commented that on the video about Nod Labem. Which was very funny. Uh, so we need street names now. Do we have any? We do. Excellent. Uh, so this one is Dvorjaka. Dvorjaka. Okay. That's the road we started on, and the road over here is blurred out. Oh gosh, can't really get it. No, we gotta we gotta get a different sign. Hopefully there are more down here. There we go. Okay, Palaha. Okay, so here's Palaha. That was faster than expected. Uh, and here's uh, Dvorak. So. We started next to Second Hand, um, <laughs> some sort of antique store, or thrift store, perhaps, and I would assume we're on this street, because we got the park there, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we should be just about there, and finally, we have ended up with a perfect score here in the Czech Republic, that's awesome, so final score there for myself, 23,287. A noticeable improvement from the first game. A huge shout out to the thousands of people from the Czech Republic who have watched the original video so far. Uh, it means a lot that you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I was able to improve my pronunciations a little bit over the first video. Uh, and thank you guys all so much for the support on that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time with some more GeoGuessr content in the future.